Bruce Lawn. Do Christians have like the worst public representation ever? This is a question we're gonna unpack today. Why are Christians so critical? What is what is the deal with how toxic we can get on social media? I'm gonna address the elephant in the room, not because I know of any insight or anything that's going on, but some of you guys have asked me. I think the fact that like like I'm being asked about other influencers and their faith journey is really, really interesting. Uh, but yesterday, uh, an acquaintance of mine, someone I would say is a friend of the channel, someone that actually kind of helped set the trajectory of where this channel went and gave me one of my first big interviews, Joseph Solomon uh, came out and said he's no longer a Christian. And, you know, as some of us were taken aback from our last couple interactions with him, I was like, yo, Joseph seems super solid. The conversation we had here uh, on this channel two years ago uh, was I, I want, very fruitful conversations. The conversation we had offline was very fruitful. Our interactions have been very fruitful. So I was I was kind of taken aback. And then uh, the video started getting serviced in the algorithm again. So a lot of you guys we started seeing the interview. I started getting new comments on it. And then I started getting DMs about it. What do you think? Da, 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 da. And then he went live and he's just kind of sharing his thoughts and his heart. And then Preston Perry jumped into the live and everybody was like, get Preston. And it was so, it was so, and I got a verse by the way. So just stay tuned in terms of what my thoughts are uh, 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 since, since, since you guys care. And I got a verse because it's what I think really doesn't matter, but I'm gonna give you guys a verse to, to this specific types of situations and i i saw the live and you know joseph shout out to joseph said yo i'm going to address this in a long form podcast and i'm going to address all of the questions and, ex and share exactly what i believe and he was clear that it wasn't just a word game or he wasn't just playing semantics of he you know it's just about a relationship with jesus it, he is just, just saying yo i don't identify with christianity anymore i'm curious uh, but I'm also not saying a ton uh, to him or really about it because I don't really know what he's going through, right? I don't really understand what he's going through. I knew what he went through. And if you guys want to see what he was going through two years ago when he talked about it on my channel, you can go watch that video. Um, but he's been someone that's personally been a, a, a blessing to, to my faith. He's been helpful to to me as a brother, as a, as a fellow influencer, so on and so forth. So here is what I think is interesting when he made this statement, the response, specifically in the Instagram live, really took me back and was like, whoa, okay. I understand that when someone you look up to in the faith has a faith crisis or changes faiths or walks away from the faith, and, and that, might, that might bum you out. Like, I, I understand that. But the responses that I was seeing in the Instagram live everything from telling him he was going to burn in hell to trying to like zap him back into the faith through a comment on instagram to you get preston perry here get so and so here get ezekiel here to uh all the way to the extreme of like are you gay which i thought was like and, and even he was like fam like what are y'all talking about like are you like what you know that's 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 wild, right? So I don't understand what is it about Christian social media that seems like, and for, from my perspective, uh, that it could just be so toxic, that it could be so negative, that it could be so critical in the way we speak of these are people. These are people, fam. And and someone like 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 Joseph is still connected to a gang of Christians. He still has relationships with a gang of people. As some folks that were in the live, and, and it was crazy, like the live was like 2,500 people. It was crazy the responses from some Christians that, that I saw that I was very, very disappointed. I was very disappointed. And I got a verse for you guys. Like I really got a verse for some of you guys because I think it's okay. It's okay to be bummed out. But to respond with, you're going to burn in hell, are you gay, is it this, is it the money, is it the success, is it because Drake posted you, is it that, right, was really sad, really sad. Like, it was really sad. And, and, it, and it makes me question, like, is your faith 
so shallow? Are you so insecure in your own identity with God that it's actually swayed and, and, and influenced that much by a Christian influencer that it either makes you question your own personal faith or it makes you so insecure that you have to attack another individual? That's my that's my first question. And absolutely, we should just be praying for him. Absolutely. And by the way, you don't got to tell him that you're praying for him. You could just be praying for him. Hey, I still love you, bro. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's let the man speak and, and 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 talk through whatever he needs to talk through. So I was I was very I was very dis- disappointed in that. My own process of this, and I, I'm gonna get to a verse. So just just wait until I get to the verse. I promise you, the verse will be good. My own thing was like, fam, uh, this doesn't change my relationship with God. Like I I am not on some. Uh, I got all the answers. I'm not on some, uh, I am certain about everything under the sun. Faith is just that. Faith is not certainty. Faith is I'm putting faith and I'm putting trust into what I believe is the most probable and likely scenario of how this thing works. God is real. Miracles exist. From everything I've read, I understand the New Testament or the claims of the New Testament. It makes sense to me that these people really believed in the literal resurrection. If the literal resurrection happened, I trust the New Testament. If I trust the New Testament, I trust the words of Jesus. If I trust the words of Jesus, I trust the law of God. That is that is the framework of how my faith, it's, a, it's deductive reasoning and it's connecting all these different things like a web, not someone else's faith encounter or testimony or lack of faith encounter on top of the very tangible hand of God in my life from living my life Jesus's way and seeing the blessing of that not swaying to extremes as Ecclesiastes tells us avoid extremes he who fears the Lord avoids extremes so my faith doesn't hinge on an influencer and neither should yours by the way my faith in Jesus is it's rock solid fam you know what I'm saying? Like, it's rock solid. And by the way, by the way, uh, I'm experiencing a weekend of quite a lot of tragedy, okay? A weekend of people in, in my real life, so, someone that was in our wedding tragically passing away a, a, in their mid-30s uh, from cancer. And I'm not going to get into all the particulars of it because it's, 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 it's not for social. But, like, I'm going through, like, real stuff in my real life. Multiple people around me really sick with COVID. Like, real issues. None of the, and the tragedy doesn't make sense in the moment. Hard times don't make sense in the moment. I don't have all the answers. So, the grand scheme of things, like, my faith is is, is, is my faith. And it's that. It is faith. It is, a, it is not blind faith. And it's not a, and it is not an absolute certainty of ha- needing all the answers or having an answer for everything. But it's, but it's my faith. So, why are we so toxic? Why are why are we so nasty? Why do we need an answer for everything? Why do we need certainty about everything under the sun? And why are we so threatened by someone's faith journey that doesn't look like ours in the moment? Newsflash, I've had friends walk away from the faith and come back to the faith and walk away from the faith and come back to the faith, whether in their intellect and their theology or in their practical living. Meaning that if you say you still believe in Jesus, but you out there whoring around, fam, you don't you ain't living like you believe in Jesus. Jesus, right? Or if you say you believe in Jesus, uh, or if you say you don't believe in Jesus, but you're still living like a Christian and you're still around Christians, I believe that a lot of those folks are going to come, come come back around. And this is what the verse that I will bring you to, uh, Philippians chapter one, verse six. This is going to be a verse for some of you guys, and this is going to happen again. Someone else is going to say they're not a Christian anymore. Someone else is going to say, oh, I don't identify with evangelicalism. I, I don't identify with Christianity as religion, or I don't believe Jesus literally rose, or whatever, whatever the thing is. And this is this is the verse that 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 you guys should really, really sit and marinate on. Philippians chapter one, verse six. This is Paul writing the church in Philippi, and he says, being kind confident of this, that he, God, who's he? God, who began a good work in you, will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Paul, Paul was confident that the God who started the work in the believers were, that he was going to work that out, that he was going to see it to completion. Okay, so I'm not threatened of anybody going through anything because if that person and and I believe Joseph is 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 saved. If that person is really in Christ Jesus, I believe God's going to finish the work that he started. 
I don't need to feel a way about that. My faith doesn't have to be threatened about that. I don't have to be negative and toxic about that. I don't have to be combative about that. I don't need to be like, fam, who is your, who does your faith hinge on? Does it hinge on a Christian influencer? Does it, does it hinge on a Christian rapper? Does it hinge on someone that's charismatic and charming? Or does it hinge on the, the person of Jesus Christ, the logos of God, the manifestation of God on this side of eternity, the, the bodily form of, of God sending a man to rise? Who does your faith hinge on? And if, and if someone walks away or seemingly walks away or say they're not a Christian, which again, that could mean so many different things. If they say that, God's going to complete the work that he started if God started that work. What are you afraid of? Why are you scared? Why are you upset? Yo, bro, I love you, man. That's it. That's all there is to say in that situation. That's all there is to say. Love you, bro. I love you. Boom. Right? And then and then you know what you do? You know what you do? You don't try to argue apologetics with them. You don't, you don't try to become their accountability partner over DMs. You know what you do? You get on your knees and you pray for them. You don't pontificate about what the, uh, blah, blah, blah. no, you like get on your knees and pray. If they meant that much for you to you as an influencer, as an artist, as a creative, get on your knees and pray for the man. That's what I did before I ever left the comment, before I ever, I'm going to send him a text message, check up on him. I, I, I stopped in the middle of my day and I just prayed for the brother like, God, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what's going on. Eh, but yeah, it bums me out. But you know what, God? You're going to finish the work that you started. I don't got to do the work. I, I I have nothing to... Joseph is probably way smarter than me. Way smarter. He probably read way more books than me. Eh, what, what, what am I going to say? Oh, uh, you know this C.S. Lewis quote? Uh, <laughs> Jesus is the, the myth that's really real? <laughs> you heard this Jordan Peterson quote? You heard this J Josh McDowell said... Right? Like Wayne Grudem, like, what am I gonna say? Hey, bro, I love you, man. That's it. I love you. And when I see him, it's still gonna be love. And we'll have some good conversations. I'm sure, come on, man, like, Preston is one of his best friends. Like, ain't nothing that I'm gonna say that Preston Perry hasn't already said, it's a, whatever conversation. So we gotta, like, listen, fam, guys. Like, the, the scriptures are already in opposition to our flesh. Like, God's, like, we're in our flesh, we're already hostile to the things of God. We ain't got to put more sauce on it to make it worse. You ain't got to, you don't, like, don't make it harder for people with the way you react. Don't do that. Don't do, you're not helping. You're hurting. And, the, and, and what makes it worse, fam, there's a lot of new fans there. There's a lot of folks with, with Joseph Solomon that just discovered him because Drake posted him that aren't Christians, don't understand what we're talking about, have no context of all the videos he made, have no context of poets and autumn. And they're there and they're like, okay, he's not a Christian anymore. And then they click the comments and it's, you're going to hell. Oh my gosh, Jesus is the way, blah, 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 right? And it's like, oh, so this is what Christians are like. Oh, so that's what, oh, right? You're not, I, think, I know you think you are, but you're not helping. You're not helping. Your faith shouldn't hinge on an influencer. One, two, God's gonna finish what he started. And three, pray for the man. And that's it, case closed. I don't know, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I was humbled that he says he still watches my content. I was humbled that he, he says he still rocks with me and I'm one of the few Christian people that he rocks with. That meant the world to me because I'm not like, y'all think I'm trying to like persuade Christians to be worldly. Like I, I'm persuade, I wanna persuade the creatives, the mystics, the artists, the entrepreneurs to walk with Jesus. I really can care less about trying to win Christians over. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's like, oh, no, no, no. I want, like, the, the, the people that are making culture, building businesses, and helping people, like, I, I, I'm hoping to speak to those people so that they're bold about walking with Jesus or at the very least give them a representation of what I believe Jesus would walk and talk like on this side of eternity. I'm not trying to persuade angry Christians. What am, for what? Y'all already mad toxic. I had, yo, 
the comments, I don't talk about this a lot, but the type of comments I get are hilarious. I had somebody tell me yesterday, multiple people tell me yesterday that after they saw my, my video about the, the bang bang, you know, the word that we're not going to say because the video is going to get demonetized. I had somebody tell me that they were disappointed that I got the, the bang bang shot, that they were disappointed and that I had sold out to Big Pharma. Like, <laughs> you know, and I, I was only supposed to uh, depend on God to heal me. Right? Like, fam, fam, like this is so, so like, man, it gets really wild and it's a bummer. It's a bummer because the world is watching. The world is watching. And, and those of us that have the chops to really go and build businesses, those of us that really got the chops to go and build businesses and really go out and compete in the marketplace, a lot of times we, we look at, we be looking at the Christians and we be like, fam, I don't know if I want to tell them. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, though, the, like, those are the conversations. Those are the conversations that cats have beyond the scenes. It's like, gosh, because they know they're going to have some opportunity. They're going to be in the mix with somebody and the Christians are going to come out and it's just going to get weird. The comment sections, the vibe, like, and so, man, I'm, I'm. I don't, I want to be known by Jesus first. I want to be known in terms of whatever I'm doing. I, I always want, like when people think of me, I want them to think Christian. I'm not ashamed of that. I'm not ashamed. And I'm not, I'm not saying other people are like, I'm, please understand. Like, I'm not saying that anybody's ashamed of that. I'm saying that's where I'm at. Like, I don't mind that. Okay. What I do mind is some of the, 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 the goofies that come out in some of these Christian circles. And it's and it's wild. And 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 I do things intentionally to scare them off at the expense of my own growth, at the expense of my pockets, at the expense of me expanding and building some massive cult of personality uh, empire. I, I do things intentionally, repeatedly intentionally. I'm trying to scare off people because there's there's non-Christians that watch this channel. There's people that are deconstructing, deconverting and watch this channel. And the way you guys interact with each other is is going to set a precedent in people and you do have influence whether you know it or not so it is what it is hopefully this is helpful king stream entertainment bruce lawn yo thank you so much for making it to the end of this video if you found it valuable considering giving it a like and subscribing this month i'm releasing the love what you do collection and to celebrate i'm doing a three-day virtual event to help us go from learning to love what we do to ultimately doing what we love by the way it's free so hit the link in the description to grab your seat today